Hi, today we're going to make a short video on some key components that we hear about in the tech support department on what you guys are always asking, location, location, location. What we've got is a Strike 250 and a Sector 250. These units are relatively the same and they do have some minor differences, but what we want to point out today is location where these components are at that you guys are asking about. So we're going to start on the sector. It's already tore down. We have the majority of body off. We're going to run front to back on this unit. At the very front, we have the radiator. Now everybody knows what the radiator does and where it's at. But we get asked about the thermal switch. This is where you're testing your cooling fans, is at the thermal switch. Your cooling fans are obviously on the back side of the radiator. Also, underneath the cowl here, we have things like the winch solenoid. We have the speed limiter. We have the buzzers. We move back to the dash. You've got your ignition switch, your gear shifter, parking brake lever. These are the basic components that we deal with on the dash. These are the, the same components for the majority of our units, but we do run into a few differences on the 250. When we get into the components for the engine compartment, this is where the rubber meets the road. This is where people want to know, how do I check this? Where do I check that? The major components we look at are the fuel pump. Yes, the fuel pump is located underneath the seat and requires a little bit of labor to get access to. Moving on from the fuel pump, we have main relay box. We have the ECU. We have the voltage regulator. These are all components of the electrical system that everybody wants to know where are they. These are all of your battery box connections, which of course this unit right now does not have a battery box in it. But if it did, you would see all of your main components with, of course, your battery wires, starter solenoid. These are your basic electrical components. Moving on to the engine. At the very top, you have your fuel injector. This is one that a lot of people don't know about. It's the barometric pressure sensor, also known as your inlet temperature sensor, air pressure sensor. This is your entire throttle body. Underneath there, we have our temperature sensor. Further down, the water pump is located all the way down at the bottom. And while we're there, you can actually see your shifter cable. This is where you make your adjustments on your cable. Inside this engine housing is where your flywheel, stator, and your pickup coil are located. This is the inspection hole for your timing marks. And these are your wires for your stator and pickup coil. Back towards the back, you see your oil fill slash dipstick tube. This is a tough one. This is one that people have a hard time finding. With the bed and the seat on this unit, this is not the most accessible and easily visible part on this unit. But inside of there, we also have the gear selector sensor. On the top, we have our starter. We have drive chain 
And underneath this plastic housing is a drive gear. These units, they do not run a rear differential. They run a rear axle with a drive sprocket. The brake assembly has, of course, a caliper, the brake rotor or disc, and the speed sensor is actually hidden back up in this hub, back behind the caliper. You can actually see the wire running to it, but it's a little tough to see the speed sensor. Spark plug, spark plug wire, which leads to ignition coil. And of course we have our clutch box, which includes our primary, secondary, and drive belt. Those are the basic ideas of the components that most people need to test on these units. On the strike, again, there are a few minor differences. Um, location. The gear shifter is actually located on the center console, not on the dash. So instead of having a shifting cable, it actually has a shifting linkage. So it is adjusted a little bit different, but the idea is the same. There are no extra special components on either unit. Um, again, it's location where the sector has the units mounted on the frame, this one you can see the ECU, main relay, course battery, that's mounted inside the battery box. Those are the main components on our 250s uh, that we have to diagnose when there is an issue. Those are the locations. If you have any questions about anything that you've seen us point out, or you have any questions about anything we didn't point out, all you have to do is contact us at tech support at highsunmotors.com. Send us an email, and we'll be more than happy to answer any questions you have, or if we have to, we'll come out and make you a short video. Thank you.